Channel 5 begins now with breaking news. A baby girl caught in the crossfire. The two-year-old, the only victim of a drive-by shooting on Cleveland's east side. Officers go door to door, guns drawn, looking for the shooter. That little girl now in the hospital clinging to life and police are still hunting for the gunman. News Channel 5 was first to break this terrible story online and our Frank Wiley brought us live updates from the scene all night. Frank, you were on Facebook Live. You're now Rainbow Babies in Children's Hospital right now. Our hearts dropped when we heard this story. What is the latest on her condition? Yeah, well, Danita, a lot of people are hoping their prayers reach inside this building because we are talking about a toddler whose body is barely bigger than the gun used to shoot her. Like an intruder, the sound broke into homes. Boom, boom, boom. Police want to know what happened before bullets started flying, before the ambulance rushed away a two-year-old. I just heard four gunshots. Two touched the little girl, one in the arm, the other, her head. A drive-by. Everybody got guns. As officers were drawing up a report, another scene. This one less than 10 blocks away. And sometimes you have to carry a little bit more. There's too many guns. There's too many guns around. Herman Williams told me it played out on the street, kind of like the combat he endured in Vietnam. He reaches back in the truck and, and grabs an assault weapon. The gunman left behind shell casings and terror. Williams said the man looked to have an arsenal in this white truck. He crashed, then reloaded, unloaded, and then shot some more. He was just firing indiscriminately down the street. Police trailing, but not sure where. Neighbors close behind, but not sure why. All the other younger guys around know how to use a weapon like he did. Then we're in trouble. We really need some help. In the same neighborhood, two things went up. Prayers and bullets. You would have thought you were at least dead. Again, last check, that little girl inside this hospital receiving surgery for a gunshot wound to the arm and her head. For now, we are live in Cleveland. Frank Wiley, News Channel 5.